All right, I'm back. Now this is the one to go to. This is my Doodle Bug DB30S. Got the 212 Predator swap on it with the stage one. Governor is removed. When I got this bike, it was yellow, black. It had flat tires, had nothing. I had nothing to this besides brakes, not even, just a brake rotor, a sprocket, two front tires, and an old seat, which this is a new seat. So this bike has been gone through 100%. Everything on this thing has been touched. Spray painted, the frame red. I left the original yellow as a kind of a throwback to what it was, kind of have a little story behind it. Got a torque converter, brand new chain, brand new belt, brand new wheels. It's got the center exit exhaust pipe and I sprayed some WD-40 on it to kind of give it a little bit of color and it changed colors right at the perfect spot, right where you can see it. Got the center exit, got everything from Go Power Sports. Um, it's got a hydraulic clutch, stage one, like I said, got the k and style filter. It's jetted, I got the uh, the valve cover vent and the gas vent. Now, I've been having some issues with these paper thin gas vents. If they get wet, they don't let the air circulate through the gas tank. And I've been having some fuel cut issues. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about this. I, I put it on there just to not get dirt in it for now. Um, I might adapt it to one of these K&N style filters. And uh, it is, not the non-hemi so i did not get the hemi with covid going on it's hard to get an engine so i got the first one that was available it's got black wheels spray painted um kill switch like i said hydraulic brakes here's a reservoir brand new throttle i cut the donut off just kind of preference um i didn't want it riding on my thumb and giving me blisters you guys should know all about that um torque converter like I said um, I forget what the drive gear is and I also don't know what the <laughs> what the sprocket is on the rear um, no governor stage one the plan is to turn this thing into a stage two eventually and put a billet you know flywheel billet rod all the good stuff uh, starts right up it's, it's someone's getting on it Starts right up, choke is off, you know. I got the throttle linkage cut, cause uh, like I said, the governor's removed, so I had to redo all that. Um, I put the return spring right into the uh, flywheel puller. Um, kill switch, like I said, got, got a kill switch. All right, your choke should start right up. see where there's some rubber build up i let my buddy drive this thing on vacation and it got into a shoe and it chewed a shoe all up it happens he got pissed but i told him i get a cover for it now that something happened you know why get one before nothing happened before it yet um i got the oil sensor still in there just because i didn't know i didn't feel like plugging this hole quite yet um i was kind of in a rush i was kind of in a a building bind as they call it so I just cut the wire. Um, I took the oil sensor, um, the box off, the ignition cut off. Um, this, I got the, so I got the aftermarket kill switch on here. This kill switch doesn't do anything. It's hooked up just to give the, the other kill switch feed or whatever you need it to do so it's not grounded out. But um, I don't want to take this kill switch off just because it leaves a big old hole and I don't know what to put in there quite yet. Um, I got the uh, the 212 Predator Swap um, mounting plate, and for this frame, I ended up having to drill my own holes to make this engine mount up with keeping the chain straight. And as you can see, it sticks off to the right. The engine sticks off to the to the right um, a tad bit, but 
not bad enough to where it's gonna really throw you off. I mean, the bike still bounces pretty good. And the good thing is, the kickstand is also on that same side, so if it does fall over, hopefully you have the kickstand up. I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna go get my helmet on, because it's got my GoPro mount on it. And this thing will stand up from a wheelie, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna go to a clutch setup when I do the stage two, give it some more power. Definitely gonna put a cam in this thing. It's already pretty fast as, as it is. It goes about 40. Um, so I'm gonna go get my helmet, mount the GoPro to it, and ride around the yard for a little bit. I can't go super fast. Um, obviously, because I'm in the yard, I gotta slow back down. But if I have it on the street, it goes to about 40, and it gets up there pretty quick, and it stays with it. So go get my helmet real quick and uh, be right back. Okay, GoPro's mounted to the helmet. This on for easy viewing. Ignition, pull start. All right, so we're gonna put the weight forward, floor it, and we're gonna go pretty much as fast as we can before we have to stop. So, here we go. There it is. Doodle bug. Non-hemi doodle bug. Almost said hemi doodle bug. It's a non-hemi doodle bug. 212. Um, roughly nine horsepower, 40 miles an hour. You know, I can't go 40 back here. As you see, I, I got too many bumps and 
I gotta slow down for the creek. I don't wanna go in the creek. You know, there's a lot of joy and pride in doing all this from what it was before, but uh, looks great now. So have a good day, come back in the next video.